Good morning, guys, and happy Sunday. The sun is out today, so I'm hoping that melts the rest of the snow that is uh, sticking around, you know, because it's March 1st. So spring is just around the corner, so it's time for the snow to go bye bites, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I've had enough of snow. So if you're having your coffee or tea, enjoy. Here's to a wonderful, fabulous Sunday. And I'm just having my egg wrap, you know, with um, with scrambled eggs, cheese, mayo, honey mustard, and bacon. Mm, tastes so much better than Tim Hortons or McDonald's. It really does. <laughs> and it's cheaper. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to eat this delicious, delicious wrap, drink this delicious coffee, and I will check back in. I'm not sure what we'll be up to today, but we'll go with the phone and we'll figure it out together. So enjoy your coffee and tea, guys. I'll go eat the Oh, okay. <laughs> Casey wants to show you something. I got. I only got on a guy because I got two more guys to go. Oh, two more guys to go? Yeah. On a Batman game? Yeah. Wow. I see you. Look at me, guy. got one, wow. two, three, four, and then you guys to go. Wow, I got two guys to go. Wow. Pretty impressive. I should have said they have been loving my old phone and playing every single game that they can download. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Believe me, there's probably like 20 games downloaded on there already. <laughs> no? No? Another game, so 21? 21 games? <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll check back in. Well, I had my second cup of coffee. It was that kind of morning, I need two cups. And I need to find some motivation. <laughs> I need motivation to get this house cleaned. Oh. Yeah, like last night was a rough night. Um, Henry woke up, he had a bad dream, and it took him a while to settle back down. So, by the time I got back to sleep, it was, I don't know what time it was, after midnight, that's for sure. Uh, so, um, yep, yeah, now we're just going to do laundry, housework, and put the, I took out beef for meatloaf tonight. I forgot to take it out last night though. Guilty. <laughs> and so I just tuck it out this morning and put put in a bowl with hot water to give it a little head start to defrost. And it now it looks perfect. So now I will put it in the fridge until it's time to cook it. That's what that's what will be for Sunday's dinner. Meat though. Yes, yum yummy. It's just, and I'll dump out the bowl of water. All right, let's find some motivation to get this house clean, guys. <laughs> Any volunteers? <laughs> All right, guys. So I'll be busy just uh, swiping the floors and I roll in the dishes and have lunch. And now it's time to make a quick trip to No Frills. Yeah, because I forgot. Whoop! Puts got caught. I forgot to get um, an onion for the meatloaf. So off we go. And the sun is out, which is nice. Ooh. Actually, uh, feels warmer today than yesterday. Which is good. Get rid of that snow. <laughs> so I'm gonna go snow fields. Plus I need um, salad dressing. We used up what was left in a couple of bottles last, last night for, for dinner. I know we were. Uh, I didn't realize it until dinner time that it's like oh I could have I you know shut up on more. I didn't realize that was that low. I thought I had one in the cupboard, but I didn't. And so, you know, tipped them upside down and 
Um, I think we, we had just enough, you know, but we were lucky. Uh, yeah, so I, I have to get that too. Just get a few things. So, yep, that's going over else, guys. Looks like everybody else had the same idea. It's one busy parking lot. So, let's hurry up and grab what we need and get the heck out of there. Yeah, I don't like busy grocery stores. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good thing I only need a few things. Yeah, people are still parking, pulling in. Crazy! Well, just like the parking lot, it was busy inside, too. It was crazy in there. I almost forgot to get my onion because I couldn't think, you know, when you're trying to hurry and get your get your stuff and get the heck out. And uh, so I'd do a loop turn and a little loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> and uh, I grabbed my onion because that, that section was the busiest, the produce. Yeah, so I think Sundays it's like it's about it's after one o'clock. I think Sundays is probably the busiest because that's when everybody is off, right, to go grocery shopping. Yeah, it's like one one twenty two. So busiest time, yeah. But if if I didn't need an onion, I would have waited till tomorrow. But I needed an onion for meatloaf or or else you know what? It doesn't taste the same. It doesn't taste as good without it. So yeah, I got a few other things too. So, oh, it's hot. It's actually like warm enough where I, I feel like I don't really need a winter coat. I could just get away with a sweater, you know, or a light jacket. It's that, that's how warm it is out there. So, yeah, all right, let's get home. I'll show you what I got besides an onion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just made a little pit stop to Sobeys to pick up a couple of things that No Frills didn't have, and I just took off my jacket because it is getting really warm out there, which is a great sign. That means spring is almost here, and the uh, sun will be doing its job and melting all this white stuff called snow. Oh, okay, so I made a quick pit stop because... Um, I really wanted something and no frills didn't have it. And I think Walmart has them. Um, I think I've seen them there. But I don't want to go all the way to Walmart. And Walmart is probably just as crazy as everywhere else because everybody is out shopping. And plus, being such a beautiful day, people are getting out. Don't blame them. It's a beautiful, sunny day. So, I got... The one thing he wanted was chocolate croissants. Uh, I haven't got them in a long, long time. And so I found them at the Sobeys. And they were $4.29. I've never seen these kind, these brands um, in the box. So you, like, you only get four, but you know, one for each of us. That's all you really need. It's just one. And boy, you can smell them right through the plastic. <laughs> They smell delicious. Um, let me see. Oh, it says to enjoy your pastries at, at their best. Heat them in the oven for three to four minutes at 350. Uh, cool. I would probably do the microwave, which would be quicker. So, yeah, because they have the other ones, um, which were, I think, a little bit cheaper, maybe like $2.99. But they were a variety, and you got just a, you got three chocolate croissants and one regular croissant. And I'm like, well, that's not good. I need four. <laughs> so pay a little bit more. That's okay. Yeah, that's all it says. Yeah, smells really good. Oh, you can smell it. Mm, yes. And they had in the same package... Um, Danishes and I love Danishes and I was gonna get it, but then I realized they were made th these kind of anyways were made with Greek yogurt and I don't like Greek yogurt. I've tried, I don't like it. <laughs> so, um, and then they had other ones, um, for um, they're a variety pack. I think you got six, and I think they were on sale for $2.99. But I'm like, you know what? I know this is this. this this is enough. That's the problem with Sobeys. Their dessert section, like that, it is so, so tasty looking. You want like one of each. I mean, <laughs> you really do. So instead of picking that up, I picked up, oh, sorry. See, I'm losing my grip. Oh, I know. <laughs> I ordered a new tripod, so only a few more days. 
Um, so, but I'm showing you this now because when I get home, I might not get a chance to show you now, to show you when I get home because um, they'll probably dig right into them unless I sneak them in and hide them. I might do that. But for $1.99, I just got like a six pack of old fashioned donuts for the boys. Yeah. And that's it. I might sneak them in. Sneak everything in. Yeah. But I figured just in case, I'm going to show you now before I actually go home. And uh, just, you know, just in case because when this stuff comes in the house, you know, they usually attack it right away. But you know what? I think I'm going to sneak it in. I think I will do my best. Yep. I'll put it in the bag. I don't know. But yeah, it'll, it'll smell so good. Yeah. So, okay. I'm ready to go home. Yep, I'm done with uh, crazy superstars. <laughs> All right, made it home. I'll show you what I got. I know for all. Yeah. Thank you. Will I get one? <laughs> I told you. I try to sneak them in, but you know that doesn't always work. So that's fine as long as they enjoy it and it's not too too close to supper time. I'll be good. Oh, that smells good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'll get to that later. <laughs> Alright, so no pearls. I got added remember an onion. And I needed salad dressing and the craft salad dressing was on sale for two dollars. So I picked up honey mustard and Thousand Island. There is one of these I really like. It's the Asian one. It is so good, but no frills doesn't carry it. Um but Walmart does. I have to get it at Walmart. <laughs> and then I got, I had to get more fruit on the bottom because I only had have one left in the fridge. Mr. Casey Kasem, between today and yesterday, or today is Sunday, between Friday and today, he's had yogurt after yogurt, <laughs> which is fine because he, he really likes yogurt as, as, you've eat, as if you didn't already know that. <laughs> so I got just five more. They had a lot more in today, and they were still 55, no, 50, 57 cents, so I don't mind buying a few more to last the rest of the week. And I got another thing of strawberries, $1.67, because I was looking for, for tonight's dessert, and this is all we have have left. This is the last one that I bought on Friday. So I wanted to get, you know, those sponge cakes. Well, of course, when I go looking for one, <laughs> No Frills doesn't have them. I'm like, great. I, mean, I didn't really bother looking for them at Sobeys because I just grabbed, I decided to just grab, which is the same thing, um, just a, a golden, you know, loaf, a loaf cake. So same, same thing. Um, I think it was like, this was $2.77. So that's going to be tonight's dessert because I have still in the fridge a tub of whipping cream, of whipped cream. So I figured for dessert, and there go the rest of the strawberries. So that's why I grabbed another one. <laughs> See, I know. <laughs> yeah, Henry's into them. <laughs> All right. But that's what they're for. Eat them up, right? I enjoy. All right. I got another one just in case I figured they would eat that one because that's half gone. All right. All right. So I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this stuff away. Put the yogurt in the fridge, and um, I will check back in. All right, guys. It's time to make dinner, and on tonight Sunday menu is meatloaf. I'm using my, oh, trying to prop up my phone the best way I can. I'm using my grandma's recipe. Um, this is like the only meatloaf that, because I've made other versions and this is like the only one that really turns out really good. So I have about a pound, maybe a little bit over a pound of beef. And then over here, I got some lovely onions all diced up. I did about a half of a sweet onion. I got my potatoes on the oven. 
all cut up and I'll probably will turn them on pretty soon. It's only about 3 o'clock, so I'm just kind of prepping early. Okay, so next I need one teaspoon of paprika. And I gotta go grab the milk. There we go, dropping it something. Oh, see? Two for two. <laughs> oh, never fails. There we go. I'm gonna go grab the milk and also a slice of cheese. cheese will do. I usually use just a slice of cheese. I'll get some more paprika. Now with the cheese, I just uh, rip it apart, you know, break it up. And then I will add about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. It's probably the only recipe I use Worcestershire sauce in. One, two, a little bit extra. And then two tablespoons of milk. No, I know a lot of people use breadcrumbs. Everybody makes a different meatloaf. But my grandma always used oatmeal. But a half a cup. Oh, and I need one egg. I think that is it. Yep, just one egg. Push up the card and there's only one left. Meant to be. Here we go. All right, now before I go swishing that up and mixing it all together and mushing it and making all the ingredients get to know each other, I am going to look for my pan and spray it with Pam. Okay, you guys ready to get messy? <laughs> and I made messy. Gotta have fun while cooking. Set it together. There we go. Okay. I am just going to wash my hands. <laughs> I cannot wait for that tripod to come in. But I'm mixed up. So I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be back. If I can pause it. <laughs> Alright. Alright. There we go. Uh, topped off with ketchup, of course, and I put it in the dish. It was perfect size to fit in this dish that I got probably a couple months ago. I think it was in January at a thrift store. So, yep, that's what's for dinner tonight. Uh, I'm going to turn on the oven to 350, let it heat up, and then once I put the meatloaf in, because it'll take about an hour. I will turn on <clears throat> the potatoes, but I'll put them on medium so that way they can take their time and cook. And then by the time everything is done, and I'll put together a salad 
and then everything by the time everything's done, it'll be dinner time. Yeah. All right. So now that's it. That's my grandma's meatloaf. Now, last time I made it, which was a while ago, I put it in muffin tents, and I did it that way. That's also a cute way to do it, especially when you have kids. But um, it's switch, switch, switching it up this time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I actually got that dish, and maybe that's why I bought it, because it's perfect size for a meatloaf. Yep, yeah, I usually put it in a loaf pan, but I'm like, nope, this works. Alright, so I'm going to wait for my oven to uh, heat up, and I'm put this baby in. Yeah, I haven't had meatloaf in a long time. Alright, and while that's in the oven, I'm going to cut up the strawberries. We'll get dessert ready. So the meatloaf is almost done. But the potatoes is a different story because I turned on the wrong burner. Don't. Yeah, I went to put uh, some corn on, frozen corn. And I'm like, gee, you know, the potatoes should be like boiling by now. And they weren't. And I'm like, oh. So the meatloaf is going to be done before the potatoes. Oh well. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> That's life, folks. <laughs> yes. So, and it's, it's about um, 4 o'clock. Pretty close to 4 o'clock. Alright, so, let's see. Let's, maybe they won't take that long. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Alright guys, here it is. I'll play it up. Potatoes are nice and creamy. Got extra ketchup on the meatloaf. Bon appetit. That's what's for dinner tonight. Alright, that dinner was delicious. Really, really good. Gonna have the rest of it tomorrow. Leftovers, yay! I don't have to cook. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just gonna uh, make room for dessert. And my parents are uh, going to be dropping by, uh, I think around 5.30. So, pretty soon. I think it's going on 5 o'clock right now. Yeah, so in case he ate all of his dinner, his whole plate, and he went asked for more mashed potatoes. So I guess I made really good mashed potatoes because he asked for seconds and he ate all that. So, yeah, the kid likes food. <laughs> Yeah, and Henry just had mashed potatoes. <laughs> but, you see, Henry is my pickier eater. Casey is less picky. Yeah. So, I'm going to pack this stuff up and put it in the fridge. And we'll have the rest of it tomorrow, leftovers. Yeah, and make room for those yummy strawberries. Yep. Alright, and then I'll check back in. Alright, time for dessert. Um, there, there was pound cake underneath there, I promise, under that pile of whipped cream. <laughs> Lots of strawberries. So I'm going to enjoy. That's good. Yeah. Yummy dessert. Reminds me of summer. Just had a nice visit with my mom and dad, and I just realized it is about 7 o'clock. <laughs> Time goes by fast when you are just busy chit-chatting. So I'm going to end the vlog because I have to get the boys' lunches ready for tomorrow. And yes, and um, get them ready for bed. Right, because tomorrow is Monday, Monday. <laughs> Once again, Monday. Oh, you want to say bye? Okay. <laughs> All right. Casey wants to say goodbye. All right. I'm coming. All right. Okay. Bye. Say bye. 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 Give it a thumbs up. Awesome job. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he said two thumbs up. <laughs> I think I agree. <laughs> Alright guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And uh, you got to enjoy some of the sunshine. Today was a beautiful day. And I heard we're supposed to have 
really nice weather for the next two weeks, like spring-like temperature. So I'm hoping that is true and that the sun will continue to come out all week. Wow, that's a lot of gloves. <laughs> that's where all the gloves are. <laughs> Washing. Yeah. I rem remember when I, I couldn't find those black gloves? Well, they were in the back. <laughs> Muddy. So uh, I hope you guys had a great weekend and thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And we will see you tomorrow morning with coffee, of course. And I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm forgetting anything. If I am, I'll tell you tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care.